Hi, uh, hi, I'm James Spillane, and today I wanted to talk to you uh, about a couple of things that have to do with design. Uh, basically, I want to talk about design, uh, call, calls to action, how do you create a call to action, uh, and then once you do that, we create that first action. Uh, we're actually starting to path a little bit, and this is actually behavioral economics. Uh, it's kind of getting a small yes to a bigger yes. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the designs of some of these different web pages and things, and you'll notice a lot of the similarities. And you'll actually start to see it in everyday life after you, you kind of watch this. But these are things I like to look at and I like to think about. So I just went, went real quick right now today and I took a bunch of screenshots uh, to kind of show you how this kind of functions and stuff. So here's ten, Ben Carlson's uh, for president. And, it's all right, uh, you know. They say normally if where, if you want someone to do something, look towards it. But that's he's looking at you. We got a relationship going on here, pretty cool. But what is the action here? You can kind of see uh, quite quickly that the action is endorse Ben. And then uh, oh, thanks for turning uh, we the people into a bumper sticker. I, I needed that. Um, so here we are. Here's Ben giving his uh, two cents and what he thinks, et cetera, et cetera, and. and uh, Real quickly, it's a simple call to, to, to action. Not much going on, not much noise. Okay, so see if I can get this to double click. All right, so here's another one. Uh, so this is Hillary. Hillary's actually pretty confident here, and that's what she's kind of expressing. She's again, so now you see her actually looking, so your eyes are drawing to what they're looking at. Uh, it's, you know, pretty simple, not a lot of noise going on. What they really want is they're so confident that you, they're just saying, count me in. Uh, just give me your email address. That's what they want. Uh, <laughs> so that's what they're looking for is your email address. And they're saying, count me in. Here's somebody who already is a president. Uh, so we have a sitting president right here. Again, almost the same. If you go back, count me in, I'm in. Uh, simplifying it as much as possible. Um, then if you look over here, you know, you can connect, join. But this dude, does he's not worried about being the president. He already is the president, so he's just chilling. And again, he's getting emails. He's probably uh, going to share those emails with the Democratic Party, and that's what they're really looking for uh, and trying to figure out where they're at. Now, this guy's funny, obviously. Uh, for some reason, he got half of his head and a peace sign. Okay? Make America great again. Uh, but what I really like about this is they all kind of like have, if you kind of go... Uh, up here you see up at the top support Ben and there's a store so it's kind of off to the side you're gonna click the endorse the, the action that you're gonna do is click endorse Ben but um, here's one just saying I'm in they'll probably path you further down the road but he just flat out puts out right on his front page this is a this is a guy who cares about money right so he's just like saying donate give me some money so I really like that uh, so there's Donald Trump so now let's go into uh, some other design elements and other other areas, uh, the web, for example, and things that you would do on the web. Uh, this is Slack. Uh, it's real simple. It's just trying to get you to start a process. And here we see the word create, create a new form. Uh, and I think that's actually key here. Uh, and pay attention to that because you'll see words like create, build, make, start. Uh, all these kind of action words. So they're using action words to kind of drive uh, behavior, if you will. And then when you jump into these things, the very first nudge, if you will, is very, it's, it's very easy. Like, hey, check this out. So you click the button and then you slowly invest more. And then once you're invested, you're more likely to kind of commit. And that's what we're going to actually show a little bit here. So here's Slack. You can invent your own little cool Slack web page or domain or whatever and take it from there. So, all right. So Here's another one. Here's Wix. So if anyone's ever experienced Wix, it takes about 10 minutes and you got yourself a website. So I guarantee you, if you go to the Wix page right now, you'll probably walk away in 10 minutes like with a website and be like, how did I, I didn't even think I was going to have a website. So do it yourself, easy, drag and drop. Those are some pretty cool words. I can just drag and drop stuff. Awesome. I'm going to make a website. Get started. So we're moving, right? Uh, here's another one. This is called the App Builder. I was kind of, I, I thought that's a very interesting color choice. It looks like the Microsoft Zune, uh, which is a failed uh, music thing from Microsoft. I, I loved it, by the way. But uh, here we go. Very simple uh, call to action. The world's leading enterprise mobile app platform. Jump in. Learn more. 
that's an easy commitment. I just want I just want to know a little bit more about this. So they start out very simple with one call to action. All right, so just to dig into one of these, let's go down this this trail. Again, we see the word create. Uh, you're creating something, you're building something, you have a purpose, if you will. So make an app, easy as pie. So I said, all right, I'm gonna run down this journey just for fun, it's if it's easy as pie. So you click the button, it's free. There's an arrow going up, click the button, come on. So you click the button and then you're in, you're in it. You're right into it, you're, you're creating. And they weren't joking about that, you know, create. So here you are. I pick a, a app name, Health, Health IQ, and I say, all right, that's cool, that's my company. And then, I'm, you know, I get to pick what do I want, worship, education, restaurant, information, you know, business, health, well, I'm in health. And then I get this nice little next button, so I go ahead and click the next button. I kind of starting to get images, so I have the phone over here to the right, and I get to see what it's gonna look. So this is actually part of framing. You're kind of, for, for the person or the client who's involved in this path, you're framing the end product. This is very smart. Um, so here we go, we go to the next thing. Ooh, I'm building. Oh my gosh, now in your brain you're imagining you're gonna have this cool thing. Like, you know, five years ago you had to have been like a 15-year-old a little kid to build one of these things and, you know, wicked smart and, you know, or, or MIT. Now you're like the average Joe created an app. You're gonna be so cool. Now you're starting to imagine all your friends and you're going over to them like, yeah, I built my own app. I build apps all the time, man. So, so this is what this is doing. It's kind of creating this, and you have you can create it for Android, Apple, for uh, Windows. It looks like BlackBerry, etc. So here you are, and you start to add content, and it does not get any easier than this. And then it's showing you what it's going to look like as a finished product. Pretty cool. So now you're kind of getting in here. It's like sweet. So now, now we're really moving into where. You've made a commitment. You started to build something. It's like uh, you ever do one of those things where you go on the roller coaster ride and they take a picture of you and then they sell you the picture at the end. Uh, you make a piece of pottery. You have a good time doing it. You've invested into an experience, and at the end they're like, "If you want to buy the pottery, it's you know 15 bucks." Well, here we go. So, so now I I just wanted to see where this would take me. So here's the thing. You're giving up information right here. So now they have this information, and I have to sign up to get to the next level to see what's going to happen. Now here's where it gets really interesting. So which one are they really want you to buy? So it's kind of right out there. Uh, so this is, now look at this framing that we have going on right here. They're kind of steering a little bit. Uh, obviously, this is the best value one. This is the, I don't white label, no ads, etc. But this is where it gets really interesting. You're working with a set of numbers, so that's called anchoring. So we have zero to $33 a month. Our brain's trying to, to deal with this. Maybe it's a little confusing, and that kind of seems high. Like, you know, in my head I'm thinking, I can't tell my wife $33 a month. This zero one looks pretty sweet. But then I look down, it says app editing, and it's crossed out, so whatever you do, you got it, you can't mess with it, you can't play with it. And then you look at platforms that are supported and ads, relevant ads, so you're gonna get ads, so you're like, well, I basically gotta pay for this. So then you kinda, you kinda end up thinking about this $19, uh, you know, $19 a month or $33 a month. Then if you look at, so at the bottom of this page is this. Now that, this is where it starts to get a little bit sweeter because you're kinda starting to think in one realm. And then you're like, wait a second. They flip it, so if you look up here, uh, you have basic gold platinum and now they flip it the other direction and they show you the first one basic so they move you from zero to thirty three dollars a month now you're saying well I don't want to deal with this monthly basis I would just rather get it over with and now your brain is starting to shift and you start to think you know what five hundred bucks for an app ain't bad I might as well just do that one and then you think for a second but that's the basic one that's that cruddy one that okay fine uh, gold, uh, lifetime, all right, 1500 bucks for an app, that's probably worth it. It used to cost about 20 grand for an app, so 15, that's the goal rate for an app. Okay, so they moved you from click this button to next thing you know, you're at the end of this thing that you've already invested in, and you're paying $1,500 for it. So pretty, pretty impressive the way that works, and 
you know, I get to the end of this, and I almost did it just to show it, uh, just to show my, you know, hey, look, honey, look what I created. So again, we're, we're, when we look back at this and we kind of look at what's going on, we're, there's, a, there's about 15 different things going on right here, you know, with the behavioral economics, with design, uh, simplicity, neuro, the way your eyes move across the page, all this cool stuff. But I think one of the bigger things that is going on uh, is people gravitate towards pleasure. People avoid pain but gravitate towards pleasure. And uh, Daniel Pink says in the book Drive, uh, and you'll hear me talk about that a lot, is people want, they want purpose. What are they going to do? You know, this is, I have to have a purpose out there, so maybe this is my job's the purpose or something like that. Uh, then they move into, you got to have autonomy to do this. So this was a great experiment of autonomy. And then along the way, you get mastery. So you get to build this thing, you get to learn about this thing, and that's what feels good. And I think that's a lot of what's going on with this do it, your, you know, DIY generation or, or t time uh, in the world and, and stuff like that, is it feels good. You're creating, you're making, you feel good about what you're doing, you're getting mastery. Uh, now, that'll be uh, $1,500, please. All right. Thank you very much.